In this project, we'll design an instrumentation amplifier. And this instrumentation amplifier should have a differential mode gain of three. We use a typical instrumentation amplifier as a prototype and 10 kilo ohm for all of the resistors. Similar to the differential amplifier, there are two inputs, V1 and V2. The output is related to the two inputs based on this relation. So when we have 10 kilo ohm for all of the resistors, we'll have a differential mode gain, which is defined as a ratio of the output over the difference of the two inputs is equal to 3. Now let's see how to analyze the circuit. We may divide the circuit into two parts. Look at the left side first. The current across R2 can be calculated because for any ideal negative feedback OBAM, the voltage level at the two input terminals are the same. So the voltage drop across R2 becomes V2 to V1. Second, because the current into either input terminals is zero, R1, R2, R3 becomes three resistors in series. So we'll have V4 minus V3 is equal to I1 multiply the sum of the three resistors, R1, R2, and R3. As for the right side of the circuit, it's exactly a differential amplifier. We know how this works. The output is related to the two inputs. Notice the two inputs now for this differential amplifier are V3 and V4 by the ratio of RF over RI. Combine the two equations, one, two, we'll get V out is equal to V2 minus V1 times R1 plus R2 plus R3 over R2 times the differential mode gain of the differential amplifier RF over RI. So obviously, when we have 10 kilo ohm for all of the resistors, we'll have an ideal differential mode gain of this instrumentation amplifier is equal to 3. In this sample circuit, we used three 741 op amps, just like the schematic. This line separates the two parts of the circuit roughly. The left side is the two input buffers, and the right side is the differential amplifier. Those two wires are the two input signal lines, and this is output signal wire. When testing the circuit, we also consider two different cases. Here's the first case. V1 is grounded and V2 is a sine wave. The result shows the input signal V2 and the output signal together. And they are in phase. As for the amplitude, the output is about three times of the input. In the second case, the two inputs are switched. Now the two signals are out of phase with similar amplitude. Let's calculate the circuit again based on results. 
the amplitude of the output was around 6.3 volt, and the difference of the two inputs was about 2 volt. So the differential mode gain was approximately 3.1. As a conclusion, we could say we successfully designed an instrumentation amplifier as desired.